Continuing with this week's edition of Autofocus, over the years, the pickup market has grown in the Philippines into one that consumers closely monitor. Pickups vaunted for their utility and sturdiness are highly valued in the local market. What oftentimes gets overlooked in the construction of these vehicles is the comfort factor, a very real concern in the pickup truck market. We are introducing today what this pickups manufacturer is fondly calling the most comfortable pickup in the market today. What company is this and what pickup is being highlighted? Stick around and find out. The fifth generation Mitsubishi Strata pickup was recently launched in the Philippines to the delight of the local motoring public. The Strata promises to bring a new proposition into the pickup market, that these workhorses can also be comfortable. Well, we are also exci very excited to introduce this pickup truck right after the Thailand launch. The Thailand, as you know, the mother uh, production country of uh, uh, Strata. Uh, we have made a lot of changes. Most importantly, we focus on maybe three areas. One is uh, comfort, and the other is uh, agility, and the third one is uh, reliability. So all those elements we have modified and improved very much from the predecessor. Well, it's very high performance, but uh, the, some competitors has a higher displacement, of course, which has uh, more fuel consumption and so on. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, uh, when we say agility, we also include uh, uh, some elements of the performances of the engine. But as you can understand, uh, the engine uh, output is not the highest among the competitors. But uh, in, when we count on the uh, uh, vehicle weight to uh, performance uh, ratio, and then it's almost among the best. What is interesting is that the Philippines is only the second country where the Strata has been launched, only after Thailand where the Strata is manufactured. This is a statement on how hotly awaited this model is in the Philippines and the significant Filipino market that it is targeted to serve. The previous Strata has been around since 2006 in the Philippines. So this year, 2015, we've come up with the fifth generation of the Strata and uh, we're very happy and very and confident that the all new Strada will sell in the Philippines. It is one of the best selling uh, models in our stable. Maybe uh, we're selling around 600, 700 units a month of the Strada. And I think the all new Strada would uh, definitely surpass that volume. The Philippines is the second uh, country that the all new Strada is being introduced. The first one being in uh, Thailand, which was uh, done last November. And then uh, Philippines is very uh, lucky that they are very privileged to have the uh, Onyo Strada. During the launch event, celebrities Augie El Kassid and Alice Dixon took care of the stage duties as everyone awaited the unveiling of the Strada. At this time, we were able to catch up more with the executives of Mitsubishi Philippines to ask them more about their newest offering. For uh, the Philippine market, we started actually with the second generation. We started around the early 90s with the, uh, the second generation and, and up to now the fourth generation. And uh, from those across all this second to third to fourth, uh, we've sold more than uh, 56,000 of the total uh, strata. And uh, we believe that uh, with these numbers, we are the the Strada has been the best-selling pickup across all generations, no? uh, given this time per period from 1991 up to uh, last year. Even before this uh, launch, we actually uh, previewed in uh, some of our provincial dealers this new model, and uh, the uh, reaction was really very surprising, given especially for province provincial areas, uh, the Strada is really very strong. So uh, they, they are uh, very much appreciative, you know, the, the market there, that uh, we've uh, showcased the Strada and uh, we've made improvements to the uh, model that they've uh, come to love you know, across all the generations that they are. The unveiling of the new Strada also marked the exit of Mr. Higusaburo Shibata, who has been the president of Mitsubishi Philippines through the company's resurgence over the past few years. 
Shibata-san has proven to be a successful leader for Mitsubishi Philippines and therefore has been promoted to a higher position in Mitsubishi's headquarters in Japan. We were able to talk to him about his experience here in the Philippines during the launch. So uh, I'm very happy that uh, you know, we could celebrate the 50 years uh, anniversary during my assignment and uh, another big uh, anyway, future um, uh, important uh, you know, uh, output uh, result is uh, we moved to the you know, Santa Rosa factory. We purchased uh, Santa Rosa and that is a big uh, anyway, uh, event for Mitsubishi Motors Philippines. So I think uh, this is a base of the next 50 years. The communication is very important and when we discuss, talk, we can uh, understand each other very well. And uh, not only for our internal matter, but uh, for the dealers, suppliers, customers, uh, that's my, or with also the government people, or, uh, you know, that's very important, I learned. I appreciate it, uh, you know, working here with uh, many Filipino friends, including Butchi Kampo san yeah. uh, Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, thank you very much, Filipino people. I appreciate working with uh, in, in Philippines, and uh, I'd like to, or uh, Mitsubishi, would like to contribute in Philippine market um, more than 50 years or forever. Thank you. Babu hai, Philippines. While at the launch, we were also delighted to meet Yoshiaki Kato, who is primed to take the head spot in the Mitsubishi Philippines organization. Though a new phase in the motoring industry, we are sure that he will quickly integrate himself in the local motoring culture and make an impression like his predecessor did. How about a few words from the new president of Mitsubishi Philippines? I have been with Mitsubishi uh, almost 28 years and uh, mainly in the sales export business, Mitsubishi uh, export of Mitsubishi products to uh, various countries. Uh, my overseas assignment, first one was in Australia in uh, late 90s. Then uh, my second assignment in Australia, it was in 2006, 7, 8. <laughs> then uh, I returned to Japan once, but then I was transferred to Thailand. Uh, I was in Thailand for the past two years. I expect market continue growing because Thai market yeah, population is 70 million people less than, smaller than Philippines, but car market is uh, 1 million, or well, last year 800,000 or something like that. So compared to Thailand, Philippine population is bigger, uh, 100 million, and car market is still 270,000. So there is lots of potential and GDP is still growing. So I think yeah, lots of potential in the coming years. Hello, uh, everyone. Yeah, my name is Yoshiaki Kato. I'm new president of Mitsubishi Motors Philippines. We introduced new Strada. Yeah, it's definitely a good car, so please consider. Thank you. The launch of a great new truck, wishing a good friend goodbye, and welcoming a new one. The evening was a great time for all and predictive of new and great things for Mitsubishi Philippines. Congratulations to Mitsubishi Philippines on the launch of the all new Strata in the country. And I would like to add that it is a great honor to be only the second country in the world where this great product has been launched. I would also like to bid adieu to a good friend, Shibata-san, who was a great partner during his stint here in the Philippines. Godspeed on your new assignment. And to Yoshaki Kato, welcome. We look forward, Kato-san, to forging a great relationship with you and warmly welcome you to the Philippines. Kampai and my boy.